wow but, but how how does this work because uh i as i tested the water how is it that there is no salt in it My name is Shamoka Jeffrey McKean Jr. I am CEO of Flow Liberia, forever low options for water Liberia. So I've also had over eight years international non-governmental organization experience, where leads us back now to Flow Liberia. That is how Flow Liberia was born. We've just seen a uh, uh, flow Liberia hand work. That is the hand pump you are making. How did this hand pump come about? So this hand pump was brought into Liberia by an international non-governmental organization named the Hunger Hill Fair. It's a German word in Liberia for short, WHH. Now, WHH in 2016, took a couple of Liberians to Sierra Leone to see this hand pump through a company called EMAS International. So we, we spent one week when we went to, to Sierra Leone. I worked at the time as the monitoring and evaluation officer at the Tonga Hill Fair. So at the trip, one week was too short to learn this type of engineering. So they decided to bring a trainer, and the trainer happened to be Wolfgang Eloy Bugner. That is the inventor of the EMAS hand pump, who is the inventor of what you see in Liberia today that we're using. So Eloy came sometime late 2016 to Liberia. We met him in Grand Gide County. He worked both in Grand Gide County and in Sino County where we drilled a couple of EMAS boreholes, and then he left. So prior to his leaving, I said, I believe this is a better option for my employment or for my work effort right now as a Liberian than to remain employed. And maybe I'm not doing much until I do this. So I talked to him about it. He said, well, well, I read his report, and his report said that it was not the best option for Liberia for deep wells, yeah. which is true, but it has the potential to help in pushing the Sustainable Development Goal 6, which is safely manage drinking water for all by 2030, which is an international goal that we're all planning to meet. And we have done so many other jobs, but one of the most notable among them is our future. What do we want to do with Flow Liberia? And we de demonstrated this at West Point in Liberia, where we started the One West Point project. And the One West Point project means that every one house in West Point will get its own safely managed drinking water source instead of a group of people coming. So we have successfully completed 26 hand pumps in West Point, one house, one hand pump. And we believe this is the dream and the future of Flow Liberia to see everybody have safely managed drinking water before 2030 to solve water emergency. Of years ago, like 2019, I walked on the beachway and I found out that it was not the same as years past. 
it continues to deteriorate. So I was like, do I sit down and watch the beach go? <laughs> or should I do something about it? Why don't we plant 100 trees? And we can plant 100 trees. <laughs> so based on planting 100 trees, mm. we just started doing it. And then we, we met sand miners, illegal sand miners, when we came first. So the illegal sand miners gave us a tough time for a while, but then they keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Mm. And we continue to sensitize them that if you do not protect this place, <laughs> everything is going to go. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yes, we pray others can come on board. But, but in the meantime, we have, um, we have over 28 trees planted mm -hmm. and we have some almond trees also on nursery. And the dream is that the whole place be filled with trees to get the sand back wow. onto the ground. Okay, so for example, in 2020, when we made this place somewhere, we could lay our head as well because we found out that in a day, whatever we do when we go home, they just undo it. Wow. So we decided to put a team that could sleep there and secure things at night. So we found out that there have been some visits of sea turtles to us here. Every year we have received sea turtles. And for me, that is a good sign. So this year in particular, I'm very frustrated because one of our sea turtle friends came again and our illegal sand miner friends decided to kill it. So I'm, I'm confused. I don't know why they did it. Wow, but, but how, how does this work? Because uh, I, as I tested the water, how is it that there is no salt in it? Okay, so nature itself has a process called desalinization, okay. where salt is extracted from water. Yeah. So if you're a good driller, if you can read it, then you should know at what depth you could get clean water. So this bowl is fixed at the depth where that salt is already extracted before it filters only clean water into the, see, the casing pipe. So we call this right here the casing pipe. And this is where it blocks between the ground and the borehole. So it keeps the hole open. And then this pipe empties its water into the foot valve pipe. And this foot valve pipe is housed inside the casing pipe wow. where it receives the clean water. clean water. And then this last pipe here is called the piston pipe. And this is what delivers the water outside. So when you start to pump, what happens is the foot valve, every time it closes, mm -hmm. the piston valve opens Open. to receive it. So that process happens continuously as you pump. And then it continues to rise through it until it comes out as water. So that is how you are able to get this water here through this handball. situation of the up you can see the sea, you know, view the view is extraordinary. How, how did you achieve this? So after observing the way, how it works here, the team decided to come up with an engineering that will match the way. So that was how the Flow Liberia Beach Office was born. And at the beach office, we intend to host two separate um, departments here. We will host Flow Liberia itself and its 
other Nangala food, which is a brand of our farming. What is, what is Nangala food? Okay, so Nangala food uh, is trying to help with nutrition education in Liberia. Oh, okay. So we'll have a branch of it here. This is, this is, this is, this is cool, this is good. And, um, you know, do, do, you have, do you have people like uh, tourists who just pass around to visit their office and then maybe take a uh, photo <laughs> like I'm doing right now? <laughs> yeah, we do. We have people come in. One I remember very well is a pa Pakistani Jew. A Pakistani. Yeah. And that day he came and he emptied his whole pocket. What? To us, he's like all the money I have, yeah, I'll give it to you because <laughs> yes, he was enjoying the vibe. Yeah. So yes, we've had people like yeah, people come, they get freaked out. Sometimes they come and they just want to stick on us. Like <laughs> yes, we get all that sometimes. So good. So good. Sure you're thinking about yes we had to do something in an emergency style okay to curb those who used to openly defecate here okay so people used to openly do it from there all the and way we, yes go away so but, but, but this place look clean now because of this latrine yes the latrine has brought some Sanity, yeah, hygiene, yeah. sanity. Yeah. <laughs> some hygiene to the yeah. environment, but we still have a problem with people using the beach further, so we still need to do more. But, but what are you doing now about um, taking out the erosion happening here? Do you have any further idea of how you're going to do this, you know, okay. to keep the latrine safe? Yes, please. So, this area, they used to mine sand here before. Oh. Because of our presence, that's why they have pushed further. Okay. So th this is all the example of what illegal sand mining has yeah. been doing here. Yeah. So the plan is not to have a latrine that sits. The plan is to have it like how the office is built. Okay. We want to hang everything because you can't set things down near the sea. The sea will just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, take it away. So we're going to hang everything and we're going to hang this latrine. But this was just an emergency. Yes. Thank you. The hemp comes from Flow Liberia. Flow Liberia. So, the, this type of the hand pump, uh -huh. you pump it at one place, but then it travels. And it's traveling now? Yes, it's traveling now through a pipe, okay. through this pipe that is laying down here. And the bottle is providing the pressure. So that is the pressure is putting on it to keep going. So if you go up there at, at where the tap is, you'll see it flowing. Now, this pump has the capacity to push as far as two kilometers, whether vertical or horizontal. Now, the other pump we're standing at over there uh -huh. is the Sierra Leone hand pump. This is how we learned it. Okay. But that is the transformation that happened between Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone and, Liberia. and Liberia. Now, if this uh, bottle got filled, yes. what happened next? Okay, so this bottle only gets filled if the outside source is closed. Okay. But so long as the outer source remains open, it will keep flowing. Okay. So if you close the outside source, this will blow up like a bomb because the pressure will get trapped yes, and yes, it will yes, explode. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so it can be, there will be no dangerous. Yes, yes, that's, yes. That's it won't true. breathe. Yeah, that right. is it. Here's what I drink. This is what I've drunk since 2019. No negative impact. Yes, please. What? This is cool. This is cool. Thank you very much for watching that video. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like and subscribe to our pages. Make sure you click that notification button so that you'll be the first person to, to be notified anytime we put on a new video. Thank you very much, thank you very much.